top story, Republican mega donors are starting to think Ron DeSantis might not be the nasal voice, charisma-free, children's general obsessed 2024 short bet they thought he was. In a story sure to alleviate populist fears, the nation is run by a shadowy cabal of rich people. Rolling Stone exposed a group chat of conservative donors questioning whether DeSantis has the minimum competence to be an effective pawn. Quote, what the f*** is wrong with R.D., one participant wrote, after DeSantis did not curtail his out-of-state publicity tour to return home amid massive flooding in the Fort Lauderdale area. Those donors there under the false impression that Republican politicians focus on responding to statewide crises rather than Reddit rumors about Cookie Chris turning kids gay. This follows another wealthy donor saying of DeSantis, quote, because of his stance on abortion and book banning, myself and a bunch of friends are holding our powder dry. You know you're killing it when your opponent is facing a porn star hush money bombshell and the billionaire donors are like, let's see how this plays out. Meanwhile, a Trump-aligned super PAC showed uncharacteristic generosity by putting DeSantis out of his misery with this ad. Ron DeSantis loves sticking his fingers where they don't belong. And we're not just talking about pudding. DeSantis has his dirty fingers all over senior entitlements. Scary music. Like cutting Medicare. Scary music. Slashing Social Security even raising our retirement age. Tell Ron DeSantis to keep his pudding fingers off our money. Oh, and somebody get this man a spoon. Make America Great Again, Inc. is responsible for the content. Goddamn, I'm hungry. Now, if Trump thinks this sort of frivolous ad hominem attack and sway voters, then he is exactly right. Joining me now to coach a ragtag gang of misfit facts to win the champion truth by showing them any headlines possible when you believe in scoops. His Democratic strategist kicked off her college girlfriend's text chain for forwarding Chuck Schumer donation spam, Lydia Parker. Good evening. Chief Washington Bureau Chief who has only ever made love on Murphy beds, Jonathan Keene. Hello. Chief Field Correspondent who will be taking a shower with soap after this, James Smartwood Jr. Hey, Dad. Plus, CNN host who, when he's on TV, makes my wife suddenly really interested in the news, Van Jones. Thanks so much for joining us, Van. Glad to be. Now, Van, why has Ron DeSantis been unable to connect with voters or rich donors, no matter how hard he uses the power of his office to stomp the downtrodden? <laughs> well, I just think that, uh, you know, he's famous for uh, being in a fight with uh, Mickey Mouse and Disney World, but he seems to be yeah. living in his own uh, fantasy land uh, where... Uh, as long as he's able to rile up the Fox News audience, he can actually uh, get be president of the United States. Uh, the reality is uh, he is not popular. Uh, he beat a walking corpse uh, to become the, uh, the governor in Florida. Uh, he didn't have stiff competition there. He's been bragging on that. Uh, he does not do well one-on-one uh, -on -one with people. Uh, and his policies are, you know, more popular probably in Afghanistan than they are in the United States. Well, look, I will say, I mean, he could go after an even lower rung of society. I could see him going to a factory farm, maybe karate chopping a bunch of chickens. <laughs> You know, DeSantis has been strong on technology, brilliantly transforming every major issue facing the country into a new form of transphobia. Mm. That pudding thing is crazy. Everyone knows the only way to eat pudding is in an adult-sized high chair being spoon-fed by a buxom German grandmother. Yeah. I understand DeSantis' descent into power-hungry madness completely. We've all done heinous things to further our ambitions. I know I have. Terrible things. Keen, no, no you haven't. I sure have. I can be a real terror. Didn't you apologize to a urinal once? Hey, when I'm in the wrong, I say so. Hey, that's great, Keen. Now, a DeSantis super PAC responded to the Trump ad with an attack ad seemingly written by the political machine that catapulted Jeb Bush to political stardom. Donald Trump is being attacked by a Democrat prosecutor in New York. So why is he spending millions attacking the Republican governor of Florida? Trump's stealing pages from the Biden Pelosi playbook, repeating lies about Social Security. Here's the truth from Governor Ron DeSantis. You know, we're not going to mess with Social Security as Republicans. We're not going to mess with Social Security, Security as a Republican. At some point, they will be. We will take a look at that. Trump should fight Democrats, not lie about Governor Was this DeSantis. this like nine hours long? What happened to Donald Trump? Never back down, Inc. is responsible for the contents of this ad. Great ad. Trump's base of policy wonks are really going to think twice about voting for him now. Van, what does an effective DeSantis ad on Donald Trump look like? Is it a whiny defense of his record? The problem they have with someone like DeSantis is uh, he doesn't know how to fight. Uh, if, if he thinks he's going to be able to beat Donald Trump by splitting hairs about Social Security policy, he hasn't watched Donald Trump. Uh, you, you go after Donald Trump by going after things he really cares about. He's a vain man. You talk about his looks. You talk about uh, his hair. You talk about his family. You, you do stuff that's going to throw him off his game. Unfortunately, that is not in the Ron DeSantis playbook. Uh, he's used to standing behind a podium of fawning uh, reporters 
who are going to throw him softball questions and let him say mean stuff about people who are not there. Uh, this is a, he is not prepared for this fight, and it's obvious. I don't know about that ad. Ever since watching the Trump pudding ad, I believe all political ads must contain thinly veiled metaphors for butt stuff. You know, this ad would be far more engaging if they re-edited it so it plays in the corner of the pudding ad. Oh, oh wow, that's look an at idea. That. Yeah, that's definitely better. Though I, I still feel like the DeSantis head is a little big. Can we make that a little smaller? Oh, that's um, an improvement. Yeah. Oh, I like yeah. that. Yeah, like okay. That. Well, I, I mean, well, let's try just just a curiosity. Can we try like ten times smaller than that? Oh, okay. wow. that's, that's nice. Okay. Even better. That's now, nice. That's good. Now I'm paying yeah. attention to the DeSantis ad. I, it's actually we, maybe just get rid of it entirely. Is that, yeah, I think we. Yeah, mm. we're good. Let's just yeah, watch I, the this pudding. Is, ad. This is the best version. Magnify the pudding. Oh, that's nice. Can we do pudding and pudding? There, there's an idea. I, let's mm. just keep. If there's any way to be infinite pudding, that'd be great. Mm, now you're talking. Look at that go. No. That, that is a great no, this is it. Ad, this is great. Ad. This is it. The pudding is Absolutely. good.